guys welcome back to another video and today i want to talk to you about something that not a lot of youtubers really talk about especially in world of tanks and we're going to be going back over and and doing map knowledge of course because you guys obviously steps is my favorite map uh I use what well, see so the one thing about World of Tanks. Sorry about that's my phone. The one thing about World of Tanks is World of Tanks will give you a monthly breakdown if you check it on your if you go to the website and go to their options, there's a thing where they will email you a monthly breakdown of your playing in World of Tanks. Now my WNA rate rating has actually somewhat gone up but gone down at the same time. It's gone up where it was but it's not at, at, at its highest at where it used to be i used to be like a 55 88 player i'm currently at 53 20 something um so i'm not exactly at my peak when i was playing back in you know back in i think it was like 20 2014 2015 i was at my peak um that's when the clan was super super busy we had tons of players lots of platoons lots of fun um but seems now, now how the clan is, uh, I've recently returned back to World of Tanks, as you guys know, and the clan is basically non-existent. And so I am in the process of re, uh, of hiring people to join the clan. Um, well, not necessarily hiring, but I'm throwing it out there and letting people know that the clan is accepting uh, players. Doesn't matter how good or how bad you are, just hop on, play. Eventually, through osmosis, you will get better. Now... One of the things that people don't seem to understand when it comes to World of Tanks and they think is an, is an overall huh moment is these little guys over here. Okay, so let me move my mug out the way. Where, where is it? There it is. So let me move my mug to the bottom corner. And that's these fellows over here, your crew. Now I know it seems a bit, well, obviously, kind of moment, but hear me out when you're new to world of tanks and you've got your tier two tank say this this, this guy your crew is not gonna be the best yet at the same time if you look at the tech tree now i, I genuinely think wargaming are doing this at the same time they're doing it not necessarily because of of uh, uh they want to get you into tier 10 as fast as possible but Lately, especially on Water Tanks EU, now I'm pl currently playing on my North American account, as you can tell by the top left corner. If you don't know what server you're on, take a look at the top left car counter underneath the, the gear cog. It will tell you. See this? USC, United States Central. Okay, I'm I'm in I'm on the US server. I have an EU account as well. Okay, but currently right now I play mostly on my North American account because it has the most tanks. It has the most everything on it. Because when I first started playing World of Tanks, as you guys know, I was living in America. I'm now back in the UK, so I still play. I, I play on the North, I play on the EU servers, but when the North American servers are down for maintenance because of time zone differences, they tend to go down at about 1 p.m. in the Brit in UK afternoon, which doesn't make any bloody sense to me. But hey, look, it's America. America does what America does. Anyway, so Tech Tree. Um, when you first get your your L tractor. Okay, little, little little old tractor, as they say. And then you start going at your Panzer twos. Oh, wow, I, I never realized I did not complete. There you go. Now I've got complete Panzer, Panzer two, which, by the way, is actually a fun little tank uh, um, in War Thunder. Not necessarily here in World of Tanks, but in War Thunder, it's actually a fun little tank. Um, and then, of course, you start, this is, where you, this is where you start to have issues. See this? This branching off into two separate trees. The Panzer 2G and then the Panzer 3E. This is when you've got to start dedicating what tank you want to go down. And what I mean by that is you go back once and you look at where it branches off. Okay? Case in point, it, it, the Panzer 3E will lead you onto the E100. Good tank, I might add. Sorry, in my honest opinion, it is better than the mouse. And then eventually it will lead you on to the Rumpanzer. Now, the Rheinmetall Panzerwagen uh, or the Rumpanzer. Or, or the ram panzer as, as i like to call it really ain't that good it gets a 105 gun which means you can't overmatch the armor on a lot of swedish tank destroyers because they're that wedge shape 
Um, even with 242 millimeters of penetration, it's the fact that your caliber cannot overmatch the armor. So you've got to either get side shots, rear shots, or aim for that little Dalek 3PO commander's capola that they've got on the top of the tank. Um, so, mm, in an eight second reload, doing 320 alpha, it's actually respectable. I've seen uh, that it, 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 that's almost borderline tier 10 medium tank damage. Um, but tier, not tier 10 medium, not tier 10 uh, penetration. Um, 120 millimeters pen with HE though can be fun. I'm not going to lie. There are times I will do a HE only run in, in my Hawker 30 just for the lulls. And I miss the days of when HE could, if it did full pen, could actually do module damage. HE now no longer does module damage. Please understand this, okay? High explosive no longer does any module damage. So if you're playing artillery and you're wondering... Why am I only ever getting track damage and not radio, not commander, not loader, not, not, not like you used to? It's because Wargaming, when they altered high explosive how it works, which, by the way, Wargaming, high explosive does not need to penetrate in order to actually do anything. You, did, you, you set it up so that if it hits anything before it hits the tank, it explodes, yet not when it actually hits the tank. So something tells me there's a little bit fishy going on there and... You seriously need to stop and reevaluate what you're doing to high explosive. Since how you've nerfed the Gonzalo, the KV2, most of the Japanese heavies. Um, yeah, pretty much a lot of bloody tanks. Um, anyway, so long story short, you've got to decide where you want to go. Um, for me, I'm going the Yagi E100 route over the Gritty 15. The reason why is because I honestly believe if you stop at the Ramatol, if you stop at the Ramatol Borsig Waffenträger Us Panzerfia, uh, yes, that is a mouthful. Um, if you stop at or, or, or the Rimborg, or, or, or the just stop at the Waffenträger, you stop there, you're good. The guns are the guns good. The the pen of three ten a uh, uh, three eleven perfect for tier, tier 8s, 9s and 10s they're going to regret going in front of your gun uh, and that's even with the stock gun don't touch the upgraded gun because it's just an absolute joke I'll do a review of that tank later on in, in the video series but I've also got the E50M the E100 and the Yagi E100 once I've gotten those tanks there I'm pretty much set um, and then, of course, I'm going to be getting the, the, the Leopard 1. Uh, and everyone's like, why the Leopard 1? The reason why is because I like fast, maneuverable, punchy tanks. I like my light tanks, but I also like my medium tanks. And so, uh, everyone keeps telling me I will love the Leopard 1. Yes, it is a sniper tank. It is meant to stay at the back and pew, pew, pew. It's not meant to do an American, America. Yeah, it's not meant to just, or a Soviet tank where it's meant to get into someone's face and go, grr, arg. this thing is meant to stay back, let the heavy, and, and support the heavies. That's the, that's the fact of the matter. You treat it like a tank destroyer, only you have mobility and speed over some tank destroyers, which then again, I'm looking at you, Object 268, you break the mold there, um, which is why you've been nerfed how many times now? And you're still doing that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, other than that, you've got to decide where you want to go and as once you've made the decision on on where you want to go and where you want to stop i.e i know some people that just wanted to get the tiger one now there's a big difference between the vk3601 and the tiger one namely the crew okay take a look okay now you could in many retrospects Because you've got to understand, unlike tank games like War Thunder, where it's the crew in that slot, okay? So how War Thunder do, do their crew is you level up that individual crew right there in that, in that tank slot. And any tank that goes into that tank slot gets the benefits of that crew. That is an amazing system, just saying. Um, same as... I, I genuinely think that there, there, there should be a, a complete overhaul in skills when it comes to other tanks. And I'll get onto another rant video about that. But the point is, you've then, so then, 
when you and, and but say you and say you, you get a flea up your butt and say no i want to get the tiger too okay okay cool we're looking good we're looking good now you get a flea up your butt you want the e75 looking good looking good it's all the same it's all the same okay so let's let's look at getting the 100 ah do you see the problem now you need another loader how are you going to power level up another loader all the way from the vk36 all the way up to the e100 you can't you're not going to it will hit that that new loader that you need will never be the same or on par with your other tanks it's not going to happen okay so again you've got to look at are you going to go tier 10 and, tri and, and tier tank and end of tech tree etc 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 there are a lot of tanks especially um, especially light tanks namely the new british light tanks the wheeled ones they mostly get only three crew members um i believe this one only gets yeah this one gets three oh, that's, that's the wrong one that's the uh here we go stag hound is actually quite fun uh this one only gets three um this one gets three i think they all get three in this line now war gaming were like okay we'll make it easier for you yeah, then, then the tier, tier nine gets three and then the tier 10 do you get three yeah you get three so you're lucky you lucked out there so you, in theory you can take the crew from the a uh, aec and then just grind out grind out grind out grind out don't necessarily purchase the tank okay you don't have to purchase the tank in order to unlock the gear on it but what i mean is find a tank that you're, that you're having fun with for me it happens to be the stag hound okay once you're at the stag hound okay and, and it's either going to be the stag hound or the saladin i'm not going to lie the saladin gets a 90 mil gun again it can't overmatch swedish tank destroyers because you need 120 millimeters or more actually you need 122 millimeters so only soviet tanks hmm something you might want to look at their war gaming soviet bias mask is slipping a little bit just saying and unless you're a death star of course in which case anything just dies when you look at it um but the point is it it actually gets an okay gun um this one just streams fire premium don't even bother firing regular rounds um this one does scream you can fire regular rounds but you got a 50 50 chance of it bouncing especially when you come across tier nines and tens because you're at tier eight you will again wargaming plus one neg one much better matchmaker than what you've got right now you know it we all know it but you just refuse whoever came up with that city matchmaker is gonna die on that hill anyway so rule of thumb before you start a new tech tree branch case in point i'm starting to go down the italian tank destroyer line because i just like to look at the tanks yes i know they don't have a full turret i don't care right i don't care all right um Mostly because during World War II, Italy never had these tank destroyers. They never even had these. These tanks are all works of fiction. The best things that the, the Italians had was literally from like this era in World War II. After that, they just might give up. They, they, they gunganned it. They just gave up. Now, hmm. Swedish Tech Tree, again, all hull down monsters. From the Emil onwards, they are just hull down monsters. If you know what you're doing, um, these are the tanks in question: the IKV, the Udes, is the Strix Vans. If those buggers are on a hill at the right angle elevation, anything less than 120 millimeters will bounce unless they know where they're aiming or you've overpeaked. There, so that's what I'm talking about. Um, and as you can see, Polish Tech Tree, I've put it on hold right now. Um, I'm already at the 53 TP. But it's on hold. I think I had the 53 TP at one point, and then I sold it because it just wasn't. I didn't like it how it played. Uh, but anyway, and the Chinese Tech Tree again, way on hold. Yes, they finally got uh, another line of heavy tanks, and another line, uh, and they got tank destroyers. Uh, I do have a couple of tank destroyers uh, for free because of uh, because of uh, uh, and blueprints. War gaming, stop being stingy with the blueprints, especially the blueprint fragments. That's what I've got to say. That, that's all I've got to say. Stop being stingy with the blueprint fragments. If you it, 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 just just stop, right? Just stop. Okay, give us more fragments. 
And I get it, you don't want to do that because there are players out there that have literally every tank unlocked. And you know what, boo frickity who? Good for them, okay? Good for them. Um, but there are some players out there who don't. I.e., I can get the AR-044 for free. I can get... But why would I? It's French. I'm not... not uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not a huge French tank fan. Plus the fact that France is the only only artillery in the game that's an auto loader. The Bachelion 155-58 is an auto loader. Yes. I'll say that again. The French get an auto loader. Too many auto loaders war game. You know how I feel about that. They don't even get me started on auto loaders. There's just way too many in the game. There needs to be a lot less. You need to start removing auto loaders from the game. Or at least increasing their intra clip reload or, or overall reloads plus. You have to. Because because there's so many iterative or loading systems. Stop trying to reinvent the wheel. Okay, just just stop trying to reinvent the wheel. Okay, just stop. Just stop. Uh Soviet Tech Tree, believe it or not, most of this stuff I didn't get. Um I got it. I, 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 I just don't like Soviet tanks. I don't, I've never liked them. Not even in real life when I was a British tanker. They're they're too easy to knock out in real life. They are realistically they are. I'm looking at UT sixty two A. They're too easy to knock out. I'm looking at UT fifty fives. They they they're just too just the just the, the T sixty series and the T T seventy series. They're just too easy to knock out. Okay, they are. They're just genuinely shit. There's a reason why the T-72A or the T-72 is not in World of Tanks. Because by all honesty, if they added it into the game, the moment you fired your second or third shot, your turret would pop off. Okay? Because quite literally, your autoloader would jam, and then you'd go to pull the trigger, and boom! There goes your fucking turret. Okay? Because they're shitly built. Same as the T-34. I'm sorry, the T-34 is a shit tank. There you go. Cry about it in the comments. I don't care. Laser pig was right. Hashtag laser pig was right. Anyway, so plain and simple. Do I have plans of ever going down the Soviet tech tree? No. <laughs> no. Um, I have some of the most iconic Soviet tanks that I've only ever wanted in my collection to just look at and then just gather rust and then sell them on later on. Um, namely the IS-3, I've recently sold it as you can see, KV-2 I keep it because it's a meme tank, uh, SU-152 uh, I sold it but it's a meme tank, um, I probably, and I've also got the ISU-152, mostly because uh, it used to get the BL-10 gun, but you buggers removed it and gave it to the Object 704, of course there it is, that's the BL-10 gun, uh, 286 pen, 329 with, with gold, yeah, it loves to see see mouses and, 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 and E100s and whatnot and eviscerate them. Object 268, not, actually the Object 268 I'm not really scared of. Um, yeah, 395 pen, 395 pen, that's just ridiculous. 395 pen, again, Wargaming's basically just made armor obsolete. Why? Because Soviet power, the best power in the world, duh. No, 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 duh. You couldn't beat Finland. Shut up fight me so I wonder what is never going to be a finished tech tree line and so like I said E100 is my go to tank I'm currently about 40% into getting the E100 I have you know what I've got some I'll make some blueprints let's create some fragments I will create a whopping two fragments. I'll take it. You know, I don't care. I'll take it. I will take it. And so, like I said, we get more and more EXP off. Um, but I'm not going to be buying the Act Tiger until it goes on sale. Um, I don't think it's on sale right now. I know there's an on on track to it. Oh, no, wait, it is on sale. Oh, it's only four million instead of six million. Cute. So what I might do is uh, on track it, get it, and. Uh, Sell some tanks that I don't really play so much anymore. Uh, I'll take a look. The only tanks I'm never selling are Shermans. Shermans and Panzer, Panzer threes on and their variants. Because they're part of my actual collection I'm never getting rid of. Ever. 
ever. Uh, I don't care how bad you nerf my Shermans. I'm never getting rid of them. Um, and so that was my goal. My end goal is to get the Yagi E100 and to take my crew. Uh, I even have a crew in mind that's going into the Yagi E100. Even though the Yagi E100 does have... Um, uh, 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 does the Yagi E100 have, have the same crew or more than that? Aha, uh -huh, it has the same as the, um, Yag Tiger. Yeah, it's the same. So, do I want to take my Yag Tiger crew and put it in there, or do I want to take someone from, like, my Ferdinand? Um, I'll probably take the, 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 the squad from my Ferdy. And I'm not taking my crew from my Yag, Yag Panzer 2. Because why not? They're girls in Panzer. Yes, that's technically a guy. I'm waiting to get another female crew member and then I'll swap him out. Um, same as the crew in my Tiger 1. They're all female. Everyone's like, what? Yeah, all the crew in my Tiger 1 are female. See? All female. Girls, girls in Panzer. Um, but the thing is, uh, according to Wargaming, I've s recently become a Veribu, uh, mostly because, like I said, I've been grinding out the uh, uh, American, the, the American, the uh, German tank destroyer line. Um, and so, according to Wargaming, especially for this month, I've become a Veribu. If you don't know what that means, that means I have become a fan of the German Wehrmark. Um, actually, I'm not a Veribu at all. I'm not a Tierbu. I'm not a Freedom Boo. I'm not a Commie Boo. I am. I'm not, I'm not a fan of any one nation over another. Um, I have iconic tanks like the Tiger 1, the Tiger 2, the E75, um, the E100. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to get the Mouse. Um, mostly because there's just one tank in particular in the Mouse line that is just cancer. And unless I've got like maybe 3 or 4 million of free convertible EXP. Just so I can just go click, 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 click and never play the tank. Um... Actually, you probably only need about half a million. Um, but the point is, there is one tank in the um, A100 line, and that is, uh, where is it? That's the Maotian. Um Just can't play it. I just can't play it. I've played it on the test server, and even when I was in a, a room with people that did wasn't firing gold, they were going right through this tank like it didn't even have armor. Um because it's just it's horrible it's too slow you get nothing done you might as well just be a bunker at one point assault what the only thing you're assaulting is my fucking iq with that those words assault <laughs> fuck off uh it's not an assault it's not um that's like saying a fucking panzer 2 is a fucking scout uh, which it isn't by the way um point is guys you got to take a look at crew and where you're going and then most importantly um yes you can go there are there are some youtubers out there skills uh Sircon, th things of that nature that have websites that, that have a, a a skill index where you can go there type in tank it will tell you what equipment to put in and what what skills to use that is a wonderful resource however finger in the air however that resource works for him you are not skills you are not me. You are not Quickie Baby. You are not Circumflexes. You are not Kazu. Okay? Get that into your head. Okay? You are you. Okay? So, with that in mind, play the tanks your way, how you want to play it. Okay? I may say to you guys, okay, um... Take, take what let's take this 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 waffen traeger okay this waffen traeger okay yeah no armor slow as crap um this thing used to have a turbo on it but i took the turbo off because uh, i thought well i'll go for a stealth route but notice none of my crew have camo reason why none of my crew have camo is because i need to get more important skills out first like intuition uh, 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 uh dead eye um and, and things of that nature. I needed to get those those skills knocked out first. Guaranteed. When those skills hit 100%, the first thing this thing is getting is camo. 
Now, to me, this is where the tank destroyer line ends. This tank destroyer line. Anyway, I'm not getting the gritty 15. The gritty 15 is an absolute fucking slap in the face and it's a complete insult to, 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 to the German tech, tech, tank destroyer tech tree line. Don't believe me? That's what Wargaming uses compensation for players that had the Waffen Trigger E100. Literally, this is my natural reaction. My natural reaction to you, Wargaming. You took away our Waffen Trigger E100 and gave us a gritty 15, and you literally took this, inflated it to the size of a horse cock, and rammed it up our asses, and said, Enjoy! No. No, fucking insult. So to me, that tank, that that ta the, the 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 turreted tank destroyer line ends for me for the for the 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 rim w wt bwt. It ends here. There's no point. There's no point. Um, turretless tank destroyers, of course, Yagi E100, and you don't play it like a tank destroyer. I will repeat that. You do not play the Yagi E100 like a tank destroyer. You play it like a heavy tank, just like the T30. I woefully be, be told I am going to fucking set the record straight when it comes to one of the most misconceived tanks in the whole of World of Tanks. The T30. It says versatile tank destroyer. It is in the tank destroyer tech tree line. But it is not a tank destroyer. Same as the M7MT. That is not a light tank. That is a medium tank. It even says so in its original documentation. Medium tank M7. It was a medium tank. Then Wargaming said, fuck it. We don't have enough light tanks. Let's just re reflag it as a light tank. And you killed that tank. Okay. Full disclosure, T-30 used to be the tier 10 heavy tank. Yeah. The T-30 used to be the tier 10 heavy tank. Now, Cobra, what makes you th say that this tank is a heavy tank? Wargaming say it's a fucking heavy tank. It's right there. Read the fucking description. Ready? 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 Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Tell me, you're, tell, tell me you're a politician without telling me you're a politician. Okay, I will read the following statement. Tank Destroyer T-30. Roll. Versatile Tank Destroyer. <clears throat> Experimental Heavy Tank. One of these things just doesn't belong here. This vehicle was an early version of the T-29 with enhanced armament. Two prototypes were built in 1945 to 1947. It underwent trials at the Aberdeen Proving Grounds in 1948, never entered mass production or saw service. So, it physically exists. And on paper, it says, it is a heavy tank. But Wargaming in there, what infinite fucking stupidity. Call it a tank destroyer. The thing gets no, none, zip, zero, nada, zero, none, nine, no camo. Do you understand? None. It gets no camo rating whatsoever for it to be a tank destroyer. Because Wargaming still left a heavy tank profile in the soft stats for this tank. So you ever wondered, when you're a T-30, you're behind Kemp Bush, you've got your low noise, whatever, you've got your camo net, you've got every fucking, your, your crew ain't even, have even got 100% camo rating. And you wonder why you can't even break 30% camo. That's the hard cap for heavy tanks. Oh, fuck me, I didn't think of that. You're a heavy tank. You're in the wrong fucking area. Don't play it like a fucking Kemp Bush. And it's not a Hellcat. It's not a hugely upgunned, slow as fuck Hellcat. It is not a T28 prototype. Or the prototype of the prototype. Or the prototype of the prototype of the prototype of the prototype. Okay? It's not. It is a heavy tank. Play it like a heavy tank. Don't know how to play it? Guess what? Get the T34. It's the exact same fucking tank. No joke. 
T34, T30, same tank, same model, cut and paste, that's it. But how do you know this, Cobra? T34, T30. But the barrel's shorter. Okay, that's all. That's it, that's all. Other than that, fucking identical! So if you want to make credits and practice at getting better using your T30, take your T34. Drop the cola. Now, I've only got the cola in here because, well, for, you know, as you can see, my, my, my T34 has got a decent crew because I like playing my T34. Fuck you all, okay? Yes, that is major pattern in there. I like playing my T-34. Fuck you. Sue me. It's a good tank. It is a good tank, but it's not a sniper. It is a brawler. And what I mean by that, you go hold down. Okay. Fire. Lift your barrel up so they can't overmatch your turret. Because this is the thing. When you go hold down and you lift your barrel up, they can't overmatch the top of your turret. Dun, dun, dun! You've just figured out the T-34. And you're going to piss off to 8s, 9s, and 10s when they cannot penetrate you. Because your gun is considered additional spaced armor. Then all you got to do is have a gunner that can work with a damaged gun. So you don't lose accuracy. Did you just learn something? If you did, give the video a like. If you're new around here, hit the follow button. Yeah, give me a subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. So, want to get better in this tank? Do the exact same thing. Roll up. Take a shot. Stay hold down. Lift gun up. Watch them bounce. Repeat. Bounce. Repeat. Bounce. Win game. You just need to know where to go. Don't go out in the open. See, if, you're in a, if there's an open area like this on a map, don't go there. If there's a hill or an undulation, use that. Again, go hold down the best you can. Why? Because that's smart. Okay. Plain and simple. That's what these tanks are designed for. They were designed to be as low profile as they could be. Now bear in mind these tanks were designed in the 40s, 50, 40s to 60s. Okay, with, the, with these, and with the end results turning these guys into freaking uh, uh, um, patterns and stuff. No joke. They ended up becoming. Uh, where are you? They ended up becoming the mediums. Uh, ended up becoming this thing. Okay. Yes, I have a lot of tier tens in America. Am I a freedom boo? No. Point is, okay. Learn to play your tank. Yes, that is Queen Maeve. I think she's just absolutely gorgeous as a woman. Oh, the actress who plays Queen Maeve. Call me. Um. But the point still stands, guys. Okay. If you want to get better okay in certain retrospects okay if you want to get better okay go look look down that tech tree line that you're going find the tank you want to stop at it doesn't have to be tier 10 it could be tier 6 okay because tier 6 can be fun i'm not gonna lie i've got a ton of tier 6 tanks okay i do tier 6 okay i've got a ton of tier 6 tanks and they are fun they can be fun okay kv2 for example fun absolute fun love it love it absolute fun i've even got a mark of excellence on this thing in a kv2 with a derp firing he it is a freaking mean tank but it's fun my easy eight sherman okay almost a thousand battles plus in this tank okay guess what she's my baby this is my baby. This is Betty. She's literally named after my grandmother. I love this tank. It is my babe. 
I'm never getting rid of this thing. Never getting rid of this thing. She's my sweetheart. Yeah. She, she's undergunned. Yeah, she's overworked. Yeah, she's underpaid. Yeah, she's overfucked. But you know what? Don't care. I try to, I try my best to make the tank happen. I try my best to make it work. Okay? And you're probably thinking, why, why does he have, like, like, he experienced that? Because I'm in the process of actually, I haven't even finished. You're not here. Boop. Boop. One more. Boop. Always go for the aim circle. There we go. So I've already got two. Well, one, one more module left to get. And that's going to be... Suspension repair time. Concealment's not really a thing for the Sherman. I mean, like I said, camo's 15% stationary, 12% while moving. You're going to get spotted. At this tier, you're going to get spotted. But point is, guys, all right, at the end of the day... Play the game to have fun. That's what a game's about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can be a stat peddler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. XVM. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care about that. Okay? Yeah. Do I care? Yeah, I started this video by talking about my my WNA rating. But that's because I also play tier 10 competitive. Okay? Now, the competitive side of me, I don't stream that. The reason why I don't stream that is because I make Erwin Rommel, Goebbels, and a few other really Patton and Montgomery blush. I I seriously chew people out. But when I'm streaming and playing for fun or platooning with friends or other content creators or whatnot, you're going to get a chilled, laid-back, laughable, <laughs> let's get some mean tanks together, like the TOGs or the KV-2s or whatever, you know, or even the Japanese OIs. Speaking of, I need to buy a new, a new OI. I think I solved my last OI. Um, Japan. Yeah, I did. I solved my OI. Do I want the OI or the Oni? Oni. Do you get the... the what one gets the, the actual... Ah, there it is. The howitzer. You get the... I know the Oho gets a... And uh, oh, so it gets the same guns. Okay. That is strange. Okay, you get the fifteen centimeter. You know, I'm I'm gonna have fun later on with the OI. Koko Katsu, because that's what I'm gonna do later on on Twitch. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave this video. This has gone way too long. Anyway, thanks for letting me ramble about tanks and everything else. If you learned something, like I said, please give the video a like. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. Share the video with your friends. Until then, guys, keep just flying, keep your enemies dying. Cobra Commander is out. And I'll see you, circuit bastards, in the next one.